is Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, and for many Christians, it is an opportunity to focus more closely on their relationship with God. Our next guest is best known for his incredible film and television career, but he's here today as a paid spokesperson for the Hallow app to talk about prayer and faith. Please welcome to the studio, Mark Wahlberg. So good to see you, right? So I think it might surprise some people to see you here talking about your faith. We don't see celebrities really talking about their faith that much. Why do you think this is so important to share this? Well, it's such a big part of my life. I credit all of my personal, professional uh, success. Everything good that's happened in my life, I kind of credit to my faith. So that's where it kind of starts for me. That's the foundation. And I uh, certainly want to share that, people, with the routine, the discipline, the work ethic. All of those things are things that I like to share. And I try to encourage people to be the best versions of themselves. And you've become the spokesperson for an app that was created to sort of bring everybody together and pray. Uh -huh. Tell us about it. Yeah, I just said, saw that it was saying that I was a paid spokesman. I mean, I've been called to do this. I've always felt like, you know, I've been blessed for a reason. It's not to forget about all the hardships that I face and the things that I've had to overcome. It's really to kind of, you know, encourage people that despite where they come from or the things that they've had to overcome, you know, there isn't anything they can't accomplish if they're willing to do the work, both personally and professionally. So uh, I had made a movie called Father Stew, and that was my love letter to the Lord. And then it was like, okay, well, that was just the entry point. Now, you know, you have to continue to get people closer to the Lord, you know, and, uh, and get people to work on themselves as well. And how has prayer changed your life? I, it really just kind of keeps me centered. It keeps me focused. I, it, you know, I am obviously have lots to be grateful for, but I know there's lots for me to do. Uh, you know, with these blessings, how do I utilize that? How do I utilize my platform? How do I continue to encourage others to do the same? And bringing people together. And there's so much divide in the world. It's a, it really is a blessing that today on Ash Wednesday, it also happens to be Valentine's Day. It is love that's going to bring people together. And it's going to love that's going to reconnect people. So it's a, it's a blessing. And you know, it, it's funny because I've done a lot of things in my career, but I've never had more feedback and positive feedback than about the Hallow app. You know, it really is, especially after COVID. I mean, I had a huge disconnect. I hadn't been to church for, for a year, and I was really kind of elapsing and, and, you know, struggling with lots of things. We all face lots of difficulty, and, and that gives me the comfort and the ability to deal with loss and disappointment and, and, and struggling and suffering. And, you know, if we're lucky enough to live long lives, we'll all face all of those things. Mm -hmm. And so many people during COVID, you know, that community that is also church, not having that really hard Yeah, for yeah, yeah. I found myself uh, really kind of being lost for a while. We were talking this morning about what we're all giving up for Lent. So I'm curious mm -hmm. what you're planning to give up. Well, you know, I've, I've always, you know, it's been easy for me to, because I'm disciplined to be able to, to give up drinking for 40 days or certain things with food and, and comforts. But I'm really just trying to do more and be better every day. You know, I think that's the goal. I think, you know, there, there is a, uh, Lenten challenges for us on the Hallow app that really try to encourage people to, to lose the distractions and, and grow closer to God. But those are the things that when, when, when I'm doing that, uh, I always feel like I'm growing and I'm, I'm, I'm getting better personally. So I'm trying to just do more. You know, continue to put out the positive messages and be an example, whether it's to people that I know, uh, people that are watching me through various lenses or, you know, my kids at home. You know, it's like I don't force them to go to church. Mm -hmm. I don't force them to pray with me every day, but they know that it's something that dad has to do. So if it works for me, hopefully it'll be something that they naturally gravitate towards as opposed to resenting me for making them go. For making them do it. Yeah. On Super Bowl Sunday, the app had an ad where uh -huh. you led more than 100 million people in prayer. What yeah. was that like for you? It's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. I think it just continues to grow. People are looking and searching for something and, and a deeper connection. People are struggling in lots of different ways, and, and we all do, uh, no matter where you come from and from all walks of life. So having something that gives me that comfort and that peace and also that strength and courage to, to persevere through the hard times and know that everything happens for a reason, because even if you live to 100 years old, it's very short. And uh, so the idea of heaven, uh, it, it gives me great comfort. We have this segment on the show called Faith Friday. I know it's not Friday, but it is Ash Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we, we ask our guests to give us sort of words of wisdom as we uh -huh. head into the day or the weekend. So do you have any words of wisdom you could share? I think, you know, 
Well, prevention is always better than cure. And I think just finding a routine that allows you to stay a little bit more disciplined. I don't want anybody to have to live a boot camp type of existence, but you definitely want to be able to reward yourself for your hard work. But staying on the path of growing, working harder, and doing your part to contribute to, uh, to making the world a better place. But you look at someone like you, all these films that you've been in, uh, this family, kids, uh -huh. a wife. Yeah. How do you make time and, and, and how does it keep you grounded? Uh, well, the discipline, you know, the discipline. I mean, I, that's why, again, I'm waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Any of the me time stuff that I have to do, I have to get that done and out of the way before the kids wake up. Um, but I'm so blessed. I mean, I'm doing everything that I can for my family. And, you know, uh, it, it's hard because the work that I do now, especially in film, takes me away from my family. That's the big sacrifice that I make. But we all make sacrifice. Um, and so, you know, any other free time that I have, it's just really all about the family. You're really known for the schedule. People talk about it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> the great, the, I, that was the first thing I asked you when I saw you is, are you still waking up at a crazy early hour on, uh, by choice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also go to bed at a very comfortable hour. But if I'm working nights, so say I work, you know, if I'm shooting a movie and I'm working until 7 o'clock in the morning, then I'll just go to bed at 7 and I'll wake up at 3 in the afternoon. I always get my eight hours and then I try to utilize the, the 16 hours that I'm awake, uh, you know, and be as productive as possible. But Jonathan Rumi I was at the gym this morning at our hotel and I wasn't there, but he didn't realize, you know, Wednesday is my day out. Wednesdays and Saturdays are my day to rest. I was in the cold tub and I got up and you know, uh, we had mass together, but you know, I, I, I definitely make a point to get my rest. The, the schedule has kind of taken on a life of its own and gotten a little crazy, but I think if I get up and I get on my hands and my knees and I got a good chance of getting what I need done that day. All right, it's Valentine's Day. Any plans for the wifey? Well, because I'm here and I'm oh, traveling no. and I've got a movie coming out on, on March 15th, we, we, we shared uh, some time together and exchanged gifts and, and had our Valentine's Day early. And then after this, I'm going to go and make sure I get another gift to make up for not being there on the day. Oh, uh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Oh. And then I'm, the off to, I'm off to Australia to make a movie soon. So hopefully they're going to come down and visit with me and we'll get, we'll get some quality time together. Well, it was lovely having you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you get to see your wife Thank soon. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, I'm off everyone. to Australia to make a movie, <laughs> you know? I wish I could see Ed one day. Thank you, man. I tra well, I, we were supposed to shoot it here. Uh -huh. But uh, Australia has better tax credits, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, New York. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.